Hello and welcome to the second in our series of NWA Quality Analyst webinars. In this session we're going to examine how Quality Analyst can be used to create control charts automatically using run files. Hopefully you'll have seen the first in our webinar series which covers how to get your data into a data set. Now assuming that you've already made a connection to an external database or you have a data set containing information then you can start to create run files which will generate your analysis automatically. A lot of our customers use Quality Analyst by opening up a data set and choosing a variable and generating the appropriate control chart. But there are times when you'll want to do this automatically. Fortunately in Quality Analyst we have something called run files that can automate and produce charts automatically at the click of a mouse button. If I close down Quality Analyst I've got some desktop icons and if I double click on them my data set is queried and my charts are generated automatically. So this session is going to show you how you can start creating automated analysis using run files. First of all we need to launch Quality Analyst. When we get to the main Quality Analyst screen we need to invoke the run file wizard. So we click on the run menu at the top and select automation run file wizard as our option. Now you can open an existing run file if you've created one already but we're going to start completely from scratch so we select the option for new and now we're showing the run file wizard screen and the way in which this works is that we need to build up our run file by adding each line at a time so before we go any further we have to click add and then next we now get presented with a list of function selections. Now the variable, attributes and other and statistics menu you'll recognize from your use of quality analyst so far. But essentially they mirror the same menu options that are available in these menus. To start off with we're going to choose a very simple SPC chart, the individuals chart. So we select it from our list of available charts and click on next. We now get prompted to specify which data set we want to use. We choose Elements and click on Open. So now we know the type of chart that we want to create and the data set which contains the information we're going to use. So we click on Next and Quality Analyst now presents us with a list of all of the eligible variables that are in our data set. So for this example we're going to choose Mercury. We now click OK and Next. We now get taken through the process of Quality Analyst asking us how we want to display the information. For example we could create a run file that generates a plot file which we want to open up later in the run file. But for now we're going to choose the default option so we click on next. We could opt to break down the data. We could choose by day, by week or month if we had a date field. For this example I'm just going to choose none. I'm going to click on next. We can add a title to our chart and a comment if we so choose. And we click next we can even have some data filters so we could only analyze data where mercury is greater than a particular value or less than a particular value also but for now we're just going to create a straightforward chart when we click on finish we get prompted as to where the chart should be displayed it might be that you want the chart just to appear on your computer screen. Alternatively you could send it direct to a printer. 
If you select the None option, it defers the output until later on, so if you wanted to group your charts together right at the end of your file, then that is the option you would choose. For now, we're just going to get our run file, sending the output to the screen. So we click OK. So now we have our basic run file. In order to test this out, we can save it to anywhere. I'm going to put it on my desktop and call it Mercury Analysis and click on Save. So I can now completely close down Quality Analyst and I'm left with my run file on my desktop. And if I double click it, Quality Analyst opens up the data set in question, looks at the variable Mercury and creates the individual's chart as requested. When I click continue, the run file finishes and I get returned to my desktop. So it's very easy to use the run file wizard to create a little script file that generates SPC charts automatically. For our next example, we're going to create a group of charts using data from different data sets. So in order to do this, I'm going to launch Quality Analyst Again, I'm going to go to my Run menu and choose Automation Run File Wizard. We're going to click on New. And now we build our run file. So first off, I add my line and click on Next. So my first chart, I'm going to have an Individuals. And I'm going to use our Elements dataset as before. So I'll just go through the same process as we just went through. Alternatively, I could have opened up my file from my desktop. Click on Next. I'm going to choose my variable. I'm going to choose Lead. Now, instead of just sending this to a default option, I'm going to save this to a file. And I'm going to call my file PB Analysis and click Next. I don't want to do any breakdowns on this particular variable, so I'm just going to select None as the default option. I'm going to give it a title and a comment. I'm going to go Next. I could add some filters, but I'm not going to for this example. And click on Finish. And my output destination, I don't want to display the, the chart straight away, so I'm going to choose the option for None. And then at the end, we're going to bring all these charts together into a group. So that's our first chart done. We'll now add a second. And this time we might want to do a process capability histogram. Go okay, Next. And again, I'm going to choose my Elements data set. And click on Next. And I'm going to do a process capability chart also for lead. And I'm going to save this to my file called lead pcap and click on next. The default options are all fine here. And I can add in another comment. And click on Finish, and again I'm going to choose None. So that's how we've, we've now created two charts from the same data set, but we've used two different types of analysis, an individual's chart and a process capability histogram. Now for this example I want to go off to a completely different data set and look at another variable. So I'm going to choose my control chart, which in this case is Individuals, click on Next, now I'm going to go to a completely different example data set called weights.dat and I'm going to click on open and click on next. Now I only have one variable that's eligible for individuals analysis in this file so I'm going to choose it and click OK. Again I want to send the output of this particular chart to a named file. And click on 
open. Again, we get prompted, do we want to break down our data by any particular option? If we choose this, we get a list of descriptive variables. So I could break it down by date or machine, and I would get charts for each of those options. It's well worth experimenting when you're in Quality Analyst within your data set as to the kind of analysis you want to perform before you start going through the run file wizard. So we're going to add our title and our comment as before. We could add another filter if we wanted to. And we're going to click on finish. And again, my output is being set to none. I'm going to very quickly add another chart. Process capability histogram. And this time I'm going to choose a completely different data set, mp7.dat. Again, this is also available in your tutorial folder if you download the trial version of Quality Analyst. Click Next, and we choose which variable we want to analyze. And the wizard guides us through the process. We're going to send this to a named file. And we click Next. Next. Add in our title and comment, both of which are optional. And we're going to add in a filter if we wanted to, but I'm just going to click on Finish and select None. So what we have now is a run file that creates an individual's chart and a process capability chart another individual's chart and a process capability chart from two different data sets. The next task is to add all of these together so that they get all grouped together nicely when our run file finishes. So we click on Next. And now we choose from the Output menu. And the option we need here is Display Chart or Text. So we click on Next. And I want to display my charts in a group. So I select the Group option and then next and I now get to choose a layout. I have four charts in my run file so I need to choose a layout that caters for this. So this particular option here looks as though it will suffice. Click on next and now we get to specify the output files that we created earlier on in our run file and we can choose which order they appear in. So I might want my viscosity to appear at the top with my weight analysis in the second position and then my lead analysis and my lead process capability as my bottom two charts. We can click OK and we get confirmation as to where each of these files is going to be positioned in our template. We click Next. Now we can choose to have the run file delay for a certain number of seconds before it closes down the charts, but if we leave all of these options as blank, then we'll just get the chart on the screen and we can close it down when we're finished looking at it. Other options that we have are we could send the chart group directly to the printer, or we could save the chart group as a file in its own right. We'll click on Finish, and now we save our file to our desktop and I'm going to call this grouped charts. Click on save. We can now exit our run file wizard entirely and also close down Quality Analyst. And all I need to do to execute and perform that, all of that analysis is double click on my run file. And you can see that all four of the charts that we created on our run file are now shown in a single group on screen. It's also important to note that these charts are visible in the Graphics Viewer, so all of the Graphics Viewer functions that you're familiar with are available to you. If you want to go in and have a look at a particular data point, we get a detail window and we can move our cursor over it to see more information about the data point. Here we can see the yellow points are pattern rule violations. And again, if we go up to this chart, we can start to interrogate and see why we have out of specification and out of control data points as part of our data set. 
If we click on continue, we get returned back to the desktop. And whenever we want to perform that analysis again, all we need to do is double click on our desktop icon. Much easier than going into the software every time and generating the charts by hand. There is no real limit to the amount of charts that you can create using run files and a lot of our customers use it in conjunction with database filters to produce the kind of reports that they might want to generate monthly. Here we have an, exa an example of capability analysis. If I double click this file I get a process capability for July and if I click continue it goes away and does August and September and then groups it all after having done third quarter capability. So if you know the right date ranges and you have your information in data sets where you can apply some filters, you can do some very interesting things with run files and make the kind of analysis that would probably take you weeks or many hours in Excel happen in just a few seconds. Well, hopefully this brief recording has given you some idea as to how run files can be used to make your analysis and charting a lot easier and also a lot quicker. If you'd like to try out any of these techniques for yourself, you can download a trial version of Quality Analyst from our website. Simply go to adeptscience.co.uk and look on our products page for Quality Analyst. On the left hand side here you have an option for downloading a demo and that will give you a fully functional copy of Quality Analyst for 30 days. If you'd like to speak to us directly about any of the software you've seen or your quality requirements then you can email us using quality at adeptscience.co.uk or you can phone us direct on 01462 480055 and visit our website www.adeptscience.co.uk I hope you found this recording useful and that you'll contact us if we can be of any assistance.